work with their families harvesting crops in America. Babies born to migrant workers suffer 25% higher infant mortality rate than the rest of the population. Malnutrition among migrant workers is 10 times higher than the national rate. Farm workers' average life expectancy is 49 years compared to the 73 years for the average American. Mm. All my life, I've been driven by one dream, one goal, one vision, to overthrow a farm labor system in this nation, which treats farm workers as if they were not important human beings. Farm workers are not agricultural implements. They are not beasts of burden to be used and discarded. That dream, that vision grew from my own experiences with racism, with hope, with the understanding that I would want my people to be treated fairly and to see my people treated as human beings and not as chattel. It grew from anger and rage. It grew from the frustration and humiliation I felt as a boy who couldn't understand how the growers could abuse and exploit the farm workers when there were so many of us and so few of them. All Hispanics, urban and rural, young and old, are connected to the farm workers' experience. We have all lived through the fields. We share that common humiliation. Mm. How could we progress as people, even if we lived in the cities, while these farm workers, men and women of our color, were condemned to a life without pride? How could our people believe that their children would become lawyers and, and doctors and judges and, and business people while this shame, this injustice was permitted to continue? Those who attack our union often say, it's not really a union, it's, it's something else, a, a social movement, a civil rights movement, mm. something dangerous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're half right. <laughs> <laughs> the, United, the United Farm Workers is first and foremost a union. But the UFW has always been something more than a union. Although it's never been dangerous if you believe in the Bill of Rights, mm. we attack that historical source of shame and infamy that our people live with. We attack that injustice by not complaining, by not seeking out handouts, by not becoming soldiers in the war on poverty. The union's survival, its very existence, sent out a message to all Hispanics that we are fighting for our dignity. We are challenging and overcoming injustice. That we are empowering the least educated among us, the poorest among us. The message was clear. If it could happen in the fields, it could happen anywhere, in the cities, in the courts, in the state legislators. You cannot uneducate a person who has learned to read. You cannot humiliate a person who feels Right, and you cannot oppress the people who are not afraid anymore. <laughs>